right van tv gh on youtube or headquarters for chief tenancy and kinship institutions in ghana yatana say na yatana say ah no yendia tem yendia tem we educate the public about the latest updates in our chief tenancy and kinship institutions in ghana most will be the question i told me in boss you say or pursue who uh different types of tribes are or more bono any half of reason okay this question the army i i am in pet tribal tribalism this animal animal what what we just need to say one ghana now you need the amadi and it isn't but uh for respect i'm one man who question you know okay bono half of region you need bono half of him you know bono bono ni asana chemu too and you know bono east and a bono region then you know a half for a half for india they are all ashantis yes okay half original all ashantis but okay bono region now me pa chomu nti e ma mu nim kentampo no ma mu nim kentampo no obi anim se e the home of wangara okay kentampo the most dominated tribe in kentampo is wangara wangara then I know, sir, circle for you, but for sample for you, and a final for your whaler for your panda for name them a dorso anti bonon chrono your babyane or my diso sort as here. I quite so call a baby to say in cranza. Ufumai, Sekwa, Brekuma, I also saw no, aha, and also Foley, and the Asante, any other cities, any other towns, you know, uh, with that question, and you're just only one tribe, and, uh, it did the Akunyaso, Ewopono, and to that's to your question. Obi, we said the difference between Miami Wofa, or see, I did your side, if I did my bedu, Domai Hine, any Sunyai Hine, Sekwa Hine, any break up here? Okay. So we are gonna chief tenancy as now. Your Asante here. Hey, number one. Number two, Paramount Chiefs. Number three, Eddie Kroni Abrimpong. Enti Doma here is a Paramount Chief of Doma traditional area. Sunya here is a Paramount Chief of Sunya traditional area. Brekum hini aya paramount chief of Brekum aya traditional area aya sai and o more the entity but with the osante hini otunfo ni akonya wo e kro bia so otunfo de ne yesa asante kingdom ni nyina no on the channel say and then when you talk about the asante kingdom now the asantes the people in ahafo some people in bono they all fall under otunfo ade no now tie so okay recently uh what is the difference between domain and the asante domain and the asante in the difference in the day akwai se obu america na obu suwo beni emuwa yes emuwa because domain only rules the purpose of doma but asante it will read the purpose of kumase Oboase, Mampon, Edira, Ejiso, Bekwai, Ahafubetem Gwa, so Kenya say over, over 70 paramounces. And a foray and the two for the gab, and huge. Once I wear paramounces, I saw two for us over getting to 70. Now the man here, the air one, gab, no, eso, and I know. Anna, Mamma, Mubusano, me Pesa, me Chiremo. Now, a man for Busa say, Name Anna, Sampa, update in a question say, Sampa, update no, me catch or say, and paying for a court, but court, a corner home a jay, ain't he court a resumia, or my friend that case, you know, na BBR so, so, a to me, I a kama 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 into no, ah, Nedia me head up by to answer some questions. Yes, questions a man for Busa, you know, Anna may be answer into no. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Yanko, Nyanko Tie History.
actually became the founder of the Ashanti kingdom. It was during his time that we had the golden stool. It was during his time that Ashanti uh, institutions, customs and conventions and traditions were instituted and everybody made to pay allegiance to the golden stool. It was during his time that Ashanti fought and liberated itself from danger. Having defeated Denchera meant that they came to control all the trade routes to the south. It also meant that they came to possess the castle documents of Elmina Castle. And so it meant the white people were paying tribute and taxes to the king of Ashanti. So Osei to made the kingdom extremely rich. Now we, are, we all know that he died while fighting the Achen people crossing the river Pra. After him came his nephew uh, Opokuwari. Opokuwari immediately had the duty of fighting and subduing Achem in the Ahantan war. He was also able to fight a Moro of our win and he added Sefi and Bono to the kingdom and also went as far as Tain and then Ahafo mm -hmm. also became part of uh, the Ashanti kingdom. And so we can say for certain that uh, it was under Okatechie Opokuwari that Ashanti became an empire. Mm -hmm. After Opokuwari we had the king Kwesi, Kwesi Obuedum and Kwesi Obuedum never had any intention of going to war. He felt that the gains of his predecessors had to be consolidated. So he was a man of peace, and, uh, except for the fact that the Achims rebelled, and the Achim brought in the Dahomey people to help them. So being able to defeat Achim and Dahomey meant he had a standard Ashanti influence to Dahomey. Now from Kusi Obuedum, we had Osei Kojo. He was given the title Osei Kojo because he was so warlike that anytime you mentioned war, even 12 o'clock in the day, he would not think twice because it is said that he could manage war more than peace. And he, Osei Kojo, became the one who fought the, the Gomba people, made a treaty with them, and they became friends. And so Ashanti's power went further north. And it was Osei Kojo who institutionalized the idea of having ambassadors in every area that Ashanti was ruling. So he added diplomacy to war. After Osei Kojo, we had Osei Kwame. Uh, history says that he was the most merciful of all the Ashanti kings because secretly he became Islamized. And being a Muslim, he would not pour libation, he would not bury people with gold, and then he would not do human sacrifice. This was very good. He was the only Ashanti king who believed in the monotheistic God. The Ashantis would not tolerate that, and so he was destroyed. And then after uh, him came Opoku Fofie, who was also a man of peace, except that uh, the German people rebelled against him, and they brought in the corn people of Ivory Coast to help them. And when he was able to defeat them, it means he had extended the empire to about the size of two or three times the present-day Ghana. So this was Ashanti for you. After him came the, possibly the greatest of all the kings, Osei Tutu Kwamena Asibe, who later became Osei Bonsu. He fought the Asain people uh, and then the Fante people in 1805 because the Fantes had given assistance to uh, Kojo Tibu and Koku Aputai, two Asain chiefs that Asante Hine had wanted to punish. In 1811, he defeated Fante again. 1815, he defeated them again. Again, and the British governor sat face to face with him. So he was the first king, Sebosu, to the first Asante Hino to have sat face to face to draw a treaty with the British governor. And the British accepted that Ashanti's influence could come as far as the Gulf of Guinea. Indeed, at Winneba, he welded himself into the sea and said he was the conqueror of the sea. And that was why he had the appellation Bonsu. So his name became simply Osei Bonsu. It is also said that in 1824 February, the British who miscalculated the power of Ashanti had brought in Sir Charles Makati to fight 
and defeat Ashanti. And I'm saying it was a miscalculation because Ashanti army was formidable. The man lost his life. Sechas Makati lost his life in the battle of Nsamanko. But Ashanti could not celebrate it because on that very day, 24 February uh, 1824, such as Makati died, that Santehene also died. He was succeeded by his nephew Oseyao Akuto. When Oseyao Akuto came to the throne, the first thing he did was a catastrophe. He reminded himself of the fact that the girls had given assistance to the Fantes when he was fighting them. So he had to punish the gang people and then make the 